Okay, guys, uh, we're back to talk about your future. I know that you're looking for opportunities in 2021, and the goal is to help you understand those activities and those opportunities out there to grow, to bring in more income for your families, and to develop careers. I know most of you are not interested in basic everyday careers where you're sitting at a desk and you have no control over what you do or how you do it. So we've come up with five opportunities for you that are going to potentially change your life. So the, as we talk about this, I want you to think about not only what I'm talking about, but alternative career paths that are right along the same road. All right, so if you want the excitement of working uh, in a growing industry like renewable energy or artificial intelligence, you could try to strike out on your own or become an entrepreneur, but maybe you don't quite have the skills, um, but hot industries that promise higher pay and growth are here now. And with certain skills, you can actually strike out on your own or go work for somebody else. So the good news is that there are a host of new courses you can take in areas to study, which you've maybe never heard of, but after we talk about it, you will, and you can go follow up yourself. Um, you know, you put all these things on your resume, you put the courses on your resume, and you move to the top of the resume pile. So keeping your skills fresh is increasingly the pathway to getting these jobs that you're looking for. Uh, the current shelf life of technical skills is less than five years. You take a course, you become good at something, and then technology changes. So we want to be able to move past that. So um, I poured over some course offerings and new online instruction sites like Udemy and Coursera and examine reports of in-demand jobs requiring specific new skills. And uh, I am going to break those down for you. Again, I'm gonna give you five. Um, and then we use salary tracking by sites like PAYSA, uh, P-A-Y-S-A, uh, and job listings on sites like Indeed.com. Uh, to figure out what the expected pay is. So, the first one I want to talk about is blockchain and cryptocurrency. So, just to begin this, blockchain is how cryptocurrency works. Blockchain is a ledger technology. So, as I'm talking about this, also remember that there's the back-end technology and then the cryptocurrency is its own world, but it uses blockchain. All right. So if you've been following the news, you know the price of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, has soared recently. But if you um, really been following the news, you know that uh, the Bitcoin is just the tip of the iceberg and the technology with much more potential, the blockchain. So the blockchain is a distributed digital ledger that records all the transactions in the cryptocurrency universe, making payments faster and more secure. It's now being adopted by major banks like J.P. Morgan. They're looking to modernize their banking systems. Um, of course, you're still not sure what it is. Um, so understand that what blockchain does is it allows the people that are in the chain to all see all of the transactions, right? So if we're talking supply chain, all the different distributors, people who are along the same supply chain, can see what's going on, everything's registered, and one individual can't just go in and change a, like a mistake or something in the chain. There's a process, right? So it's a way of building in security through visibility. <clears throat> Usually with security, we hide things, but you're building in security with visibility. So. Coursera has partnered with Princeton to hire or to offer a free 11-week Bitcoin and cryptocurrency technology uh, course that will teach you everything you need to know about Bitcoin mining um, and the hottest 
topics within those subject areas as well as the terminology that you need to know. Um, Stanford and Berkeley also offer similar courses uh, for enrolled students and MIT is planning one as well. So the top universities are already on this. All right, the number of blockchain ads uh, on LinkedIn is growing uh, at more than 40% a quarter. Uh, almost 10,000 people on the site list blockchain as a skill, half of them in the technology industry and a quarter in the financial services sector. So it is definitely going to be a place you need to be. Um, the average salary, we're talking $122,000 a year. But as you know, from becoming good at something, being in the right place at the right time, that could reach 300,000. Okay, so number two, machine learning. So machine learning involves teaching computers how to think. Um, what that really means is programming them to analyze large data sets. For instance, uh, how to interpret a large set of images or find faces, analyzing um, reviews of goods, services, processing digital health. You know, we're producing a lot of data right now. Data about where we go, what we do, who we are, what we believe, and computers don't quite see the world the same as us. And so they're machines, we're humans. And so we literally have to teach these machines how to um, interpret what they see. So Coursera has an 11 week Stanford design class in machine learning and it costs $79. Uh, and it's one of the most popular, but it is a uh, super important uh, skill to an understanding because it is the future. Um, they, it actually gets ratings of 4.9 out of 5 uh, from 40,000 ratings. So that's not bad. Through a series of video lectures, you learn linear algebra you need to get started how to optimize algorithms and implement natural networks, all with the goal of designing a program that identifies and recognizes objects, words, and digits in an image. I mean, if you show the computer a photo of a bunch of puppies with spots, and then you show it uh, a picture with a muffin, a bunch of muffins with the same spots, we want the computer to be able to understand the difference between the two. So if you want to go really deep, you can take a free class in deep learning on online site uh, Udemy. And uh, deep learning involves programming computing computers to come up with even more sophisticated analysis of data sets. Um, designed by Google uh, Udacity, deep learning courses have some prerequisites. So make sure to take those before diving in. Uh, the average salary is $160,000. That's nothing to sneeze at. Um, that puts you at the top of probably your community. So number three, uh, virtual reality video production. Uh, more of a creative type than a math head, then you really should look at understanding the video reality production because even if you're doing graphics or art, this is where everything is going. Um, this is where we are with online video, citing the advent of the miniature HD video cameras. I mean, there are your iPhones, smartphones. There are so many opportunities for you to take video now and you have this content, this data, but what do you do with it? How do you monetize it? And then we have the growth of cloud. Cloud is allows you to have this cheap method of wirelessly sending this information and this data to wherever you host it. And so understanding how to do these things and understanding that the cost of providing the uh, infrastructure to do them has gone down tremendously. A person with no money can actually get all of these components to create a business um, when they didn't have uh, any of the money infrastructure previously. Now all you need is the training. 
And so this video reality, video production uh, career path is an opportunity. You can start your own business. And so you only need to look around the media landscape to see that um, all of this video stuff is paying off. After online media sites um, laid off an editorial staff, they went out and started their own. Uh, literally magazine and they're making millions now the tremendous success that people have seen with uh, being a content creator uh, video content editor uh, reality video group uh, is sparking people to jump into this there are loads of courses though not all of them are free often online and in person and they teach these skills um, there's a LinkedIn uh, tutorial platform, and it offers a 35-hour course uh, as part of a subscription plan. And if you want to get ahead or get ahead of the curve, uh, you want to be able to understand how these things work. If you hope to specialize in virtual reality, Udemy has a free course that will help you to select the right camera rigs, um, setting, how to build a script, how to set yourself on camera, uh, and then uh, shooting and distribution le lectures. Um, you start around $70,000 and depending on how creative you are and how you're able to monetize, you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars related to providing great video content. All right, so now we're at number four. So uh, fitness instruction and fitness instruction for the future. What does that mean? So for those that are hoping to spend less time in front of the screen and more time doing physical activity, the future is full of possibilities when it comes to fitness. And this is full, um, fueled by the new workout trends popping up all over the world. All um, you can get ahead of the pack by um, doing things that help you earn more money and by training to be an instructor and in, uh, less saturated areas of fitness. So, um, Pound, which was just voted the hottest new fitness course by Shape, turns uh, drumming into exercise. Think about that, drumming. It makes perfect sense. Um, using a thing called ripsticks, which are likely uh, weighted drumsticks engineered specifically for exercises. So, instead of listening to music, you become the music in that exhilarating full body workout that combines cardio, conditioning, strength training with yoga and Pilates inspired movements. Um, the Pound website will tell you that you learn how to become an instructor here. Um, besides Pound, there are other new fitness uh, movements on the horizon and I'm not promoting Pound or anything, but just an example, but there's other things. There's animal flow and it incorporates gymnastics and aerobics and uh, capoeira and break dancing and all while staying low on the ground and engaging many muscles at once and think of it like a lion stealthily stalks his prey um, there's one called groove and it's for dance lovers who just want to get funky and do cardio and you see if you kind of combine that video reality production with this fitness instruction you got something that really didn't cost you much to create, but you could create your own new world. Um, we're saying the average salary is about 40000 but depending on who you are and your passion for this, it could be much, much more. All right, so the last one, number five, that I'm going to talk to you about is uh, cannabis growing or bud tending. Cannabis, we know marijuana. All over the world where it was uh, a subject of uh, uh, illegality and people looked at marijuana as a drug, it is a drug, um, it's been now regulated uh, in some states, in some countries, and it's being decriminalized. This means that pretty soon you're going to see areas where people are growing and selling who never had the opportunity to do that. And if they did, they would have been in jail. Um, so now um, you can enroll in certified courses taught by universities. And some of these are 
you know, um, famous universities, where they will teach you um, the fast-growing cannabis industry. Of course, there's a financial part, there's a marketing part, but then you have to, to make the money, you have to know and understand the process of growing, just like farming. It's a profession. Um, so there's more popular courses that are showing up every day, um, like horticulture specialists uh, becoming bud tenders, which is something between a pharmacist and a, um, a hobbyist, uh, but for marijuana. And instead of the medicine or wine, uh, you are developing these products. Uh, some of them, as we know, go into areas of edibles and things that you cook. It's not all for smoking, but you still have to grow healthy plants. So there's eight courses. Uh, THCU has eight courses in total. And the price is $50 a month for $480 a year. Um, states with legal marijuana sales and cultivating, um, they saw their cannabis related job increases um, by five to 10% um, and they're expecting that to double. The great thing about THC University is that they have partnered with some of the most respected names in the industry. Uh, CannabisInsider.com reports that this will absolutely take your resume to the top of the pile. Um, because just like with any other profession, if you're not doing it for yourself um, and you're looking for a job, um, many of these uh, people who have the licenses, these businesses that are growing, are going to be looking for people with experience. You've heard that before. They're looking for people with experience. So the great thing about the, um, the, the courses is that they give you an insight into things that you would not normally have had an opportunity. That means that many of the other people haven't either, and it puts you at the top of the pile. Uh, what's more, cannabis is also proven to be particularly inclusive industry for women to break into. So all of those types of barriers that we hear about, those glass ceilings, you're not going to find that in this cannabis industry. And the average salary of a master grower is about seventy-five thousand. Uh, bud tenders make about twelve to sixteen dollars an hour. And if you strike out on doing these things yourself, um, you can multiply this. Uh, cannabis growers are bringing in lots of cash, and in most cases, it's legal. So. Those were five areas uh, that will help you grow your career path. And they set you on a path to do things that you may have thought weren't possible in your life. So I ask you to take a look at that. Um, blockchain and cryptocurrency, machine learning, virtual reality production, uh, fitness instruction, and cannabis growing and bud tending. This is Mike Eccles, and I'll talk to you soon.